Arif Khan is set to represent India this Winter Olympics in the slalom and giant slalom events. He is the lone Indian participant in the February 4, 20 quadrennial event. He secured his berth in the Winter Olympics in a qualifying event in Dubai last year. Arif, inducted into the Target Olympic Podium Scheme, was recently approved an amount of 17.46 lakh rupees by the Sports Ministry towards training in Europe and procurement of equipment, ahead of the grand event in China. On training at Santa Catarina and inclusion in the top scheme. Okay, well, while training uh, in Santa Catarina back in, in December was really helpful because the conditions uh, there, they were uh, dif different than like as usually the other places. Uh, what I mean to say about the conditions, they prepare the slopes with injecting water and then grooming and make it, making it so compact like the surface it becomes so icy and and that helps us really like with our trainings with our uh, balance and the the turns down the slope and in regards to the sport from uh, sports authority was re was really uh, like uh, really great to have it on time because like i i, I was definitely expecting a, a greater sport but the sport they provided me on time really helped me helped me buying uh, like uh, the equipment uh, on right time and then paying some of the bills for, for the coaches on time, which right. was really good. How it will help to improve the popularity of the sport in the country? Yeah, actually, like it has always been my dream, you know, to, to introduce the, the Indian Himalayas to the rest of the world. You know, when you see people, when you meet people in, in Europe, when you talk about your mountains, they hardly understand that we have uh, this kind of uh, sport in, within the country. So normally in, in different places around the world, people don't still don't know about skiing. There is skiing in India. Our, our people hardly think of snow in India or mountains in India. So this is what the, the one of the best thing that when they see an Indian athlete performing at the world level, naturally the, the attentions are diverted uh, towards the country, not only towards the athlete. This is the one way it can promote. The other way uh, it can promote is inspiring the youth within the country, the people they live in the mountains. When they hear such kind of news that they, they, like uh, a person from the mountains goes and represents 1.4 billion people in the Olympic Games, it's, it's itself an inspiration towards them and that helps to promote the sport. Where we need to improve in winter sports? You know, like I have been like I have been training uh, for past like fifteen years, like going traveling to the Europe and a few other Asian countries, and also traveled to the North America for for like trainings and races. It's not just been recently; it's been like it's a it's a long time preparation. But when we come to the infrastructure, the infrastructure what we have can be only used for the basic and the intermediate level of like skiing, like uh, as compared to the, to the rest of the world. The best, right. on, the best we can offer is, is the mountains and the snow and the free ride skiing, you know, not the, the competitive skiing. The Alpine free ride skiing is one of the best we have in the world with one of the highest gondolas in the country in Gulmar. But if we come to the sports, we definitely require at least five, six different places with like slopes like three, four, uh, even five slopes to be built and the international level of slopes with the lifts, then we need to have the, the grooming facilities, you know, they, that grooms the slope, the soft snow turns it into harder surfaces. And then coming to the next point is having coaches, you know, the coaches from different places, like from the Europe, who are very much experienced and highly qualified uh, into developing skills of the athletes around the world. And we could do this in within the next four or five years. You know, there, we just need a beginning. I think this is the right time that people are coming to know that winter sports can be a game changer within the India because we have the Himalayas. If we can right. utilize the Himalayas, it can be used for both purposes, sports as well as economic development. You know, the, 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 you can generate economy for the locals as well as for the industry uh, purposes. Like in Europe, people generally, uh, they generate $35 billion economy by this sport yearly. Yeah. And, and it's one of the biggest thing in Europe for five, six months, in the, also in summer. But if we talk about in India, 
yeah, it just it will take time for sure, but not more than four or five years once you start uh, developing more infrastructure. On his expectations at the Winter Olympics, you know, to be honest, like uh, uh, if you want to be a, a medal contender, you require at least ten years. 10 years to train, to prepare, to have every sort of uh, budget and funding that can really like, like, like that can, that is the only possible way to reach at the medal contender. But for, for this particular event, I've been training like over the couple of years, very seriously. And my expectations are even if, if, if I would be able to make in world's top 30, you know, like top 30 are the like medal winners in the world. And, and this sport is, is, is very different. You can you can never be consistent at winnings. If you even if you make one mistake while going down the hill, it, it's like done. You, like you can never like really like how like back back that you can get back into the race. You do mistake, you're out of the game. So for one year, like last one year, my uh, trainings has been really taken care of so well. And, 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 and I've been performing uh, much better than I used to uh, ski before. And expectations are really like if I could make it through the top 30 contenders in the world. Because we will have two runs. So every event will have like two runs. The first run is always described as the best run. If you make it through the next run, you can really make it to, uh, to the, the podium. Or if you are good enough, you can make it to the podium. Or if there are mistakes, you might go out of the game. On representing India at the Winter Olympics. Well, it, it feels so great because you're you're going to represent 1.4 billion people. It, it, it's it's really itself an achievement being like uh, being an athlete as well as like being a citizen of India. It's it's super like excitement. But the other way around, my dream has always been to inspire people, especially back in in people in Jammu and Kashmir. And I always wanted to be someone that can really draw a line for the generation to follow. And, and I see myself doing something closer. Like I will still work hard and still try my best to be much better and better. But right now I'm feeling very happy and very proud to, to be carrying the flag in the opening ceremony around like uh, maybe around the, it will be seen by the world. Oh,